Today we are doing something little different. I mean, I'm revisiting an emulator that I feel like some people have forgot about it or maybe just give up on it a little too early. And this emulator is called the RPSSX UI emulator and if you've been and if you've been in the android emulation space you've probably know about this emulator and what this emulator does is it lets you play playstation 3 games right on your android device now i know it's been a while since we talked about it or maybe you tried it before maybe you run into black screen or crashes and yeah it wasn't perfect but today i'm going back into it we are going to see what is new what still works and i'm going to show you exactly how to download install and set this thing up right on your android device meaning if you ever wanted to play ps3 games on android or if you just like testing powerful emulator stick around because this project is still alive is still evolving and trust me there is still hope Alright, so this is a recap for anyone who is new. I mean, the RPSSX UI is a PlayStation 3 emulator for Android, and it's basically the continuation of the popular RPSSX 3 Android project now maintained under the RPSSX UI name. It uses the same backend as the RPSSX 3, the legendary PS3 emulator for PC but with an android interface built for arm devices and please note this isn't cloud gaming this isn't fake it's actually ps3 emulation running locally on your android device so one may ask why has the name changed well back in the early 2025 the devs dropped what looks like a shutdown notice people thought the android version was finished but it turns out to be an April Fool joke. Not only was it still alive, but it was being rebranded and improved as RPSSX UI. So if you ever used the RPSSX 3 on Android before, this is the same beast just with a fresh identity and a new repo. So um, one can also ask what can it run right now. Um, let's talk about what works. This emulator is powerful, but let's not pretend it runs everything. You will need a strong phone like Snapdragon 8, upward, or a beta, a lot of RAM, and even then, not all games will run. Some lightweight games like or some lightweight PS3 titles boost. A few, a few get into the menu. Homebrew runs better than commercial games for now, but the fact that it still works at all on a phone is still mind blowing to me. Now, how to download this emulator? Now, before we download this emulator, there are two things that you are going to need. One, which is the RPSSX UI emulator, which is this one. And also, you will need a PS3 firmware, which is going to be this one. So, um, to download the RPSSS UI emulator, head over to this website. Head over to this GitHub page. I mean, this GitHub page. So, when you are on the page, you should see something like this. RPSSX UI Android. And then scroll down here to see the release, which is this one release and we can see that the last update was on the april 25th so you are going to need this one i mean you are going to download this one you press on it to start downloading here when you press on it you can see under the assets down or under the assets section you can see something like rp css release apk so this is the apk that we are going to install our android phone so press on this to start downloading okay so this simply means that i already have the emulator downloaded on my android device so i'm not going to re-download it again so i'll press cancel but for you you have to go ahead and download the emulator so after download the emulator you should see the emulator appearing as rpcss like this 
so now another thing that is left with for us to download the firmware the ps3 firmware so for that open your web web browser and type ps3 firmware now here the first result should be the playstation i mean their official website so you have to press on it and then it will take you to their official website which is the playstation website like this so when you are on the website press the three dots over here i mean using the google chrome press the three dots here and then make sure that your browser this thing is set to desktop site make sure this thing is tick in so um after doing that just scroll down until you see something like um how to update ps3 system firm software which is this one and then scroll down to the session which says update using computer which is this one so you press on this one and then you should see something like download ps3 updates you should see something like this now when you see something like this long press it listen just long press it put your tab on it and long press it after that you should see something like scroll down to see something like download link so you press on this thing and then the firmware should start downloading so i already have the firmware downloaded on my android phone so i'm not going to re-download it again so go ahead and download the firmware so now after getting everything i mean after getting both the ps3 emulator and the firmware go ahead and install the emulator as you can see i have um, a file manager or the file browser that i'm using is the z archiver so you can go ahead and download it on the google play store to use it to um, organize your file or manage your file so after getting the firmware the emulator go ahead and install the emulator so after the installation press on open you should see something like allow rpss3 to send notification just press on allow and here like this um press here you should see something like firmware you see something like this firmware so this simply means that we will need to install firmware and as it is now the firmware shows none meaning we have not installed any firmware so to do that just press on it and then locate the folder that contains your ps3 firmware i mean your downloaded ps3 firmware so in this manner i have my ps3 firmware here which is ps3 updates.pup so this is my ps3 firmware so i'll go ahead and press on it to start the installing so um you should see something like 4.91 which is going to be the version of the firmware now here um we are done with the installation or the firmware or better store it is running at the background now to um to install the game make sure you have your game as in or let's say you have your game in ios iso yeah iso you press on the plus icon over here and then you press this to select the game better store you can press this and you know select the folder that contains your ps3 games file so let's say my ps3 games or my ps3 runs file are located in the wrong folder like this i'll just select the folder and then tap on or select on use this folder press allow after that you should see your ps3 games appearing at the home page now press back go to settings go to advanced settings videos under the resolution if you have listen if you have a weak device um i suggest you guys going for this one which is 720 480 which is this one but if you have a higher end device like snapdragon 8 gen 3 8 8 s gen 4 or 8 l8 i recommend you setting on the one to it 
times 720, which is this one. Now with the master MSA, just put it on disable for a performance gain. Now press back, back, back. And then you are ready to play any PS3 games right on your Android device. So um, thank you for watching this video. If you really like my video, please do me a favor. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and see you next time.